Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zen, aka Clip. And one more time, it's back at you with a video thread slash tutorial. Uh, this time, we're going to be doing it over NBA 2K8. Um, this one will be need help with executing the offense tips inside video thread. All right, let's get it started. Here we go. All right, guys, what we're going to do here is icon passing and directional icon passing. Okay, icon passing is nothing but hitting the RB button on the 360 version or the R1 button on the PS3 version. And it brings up the corresponding buttons for each player. A being the point guard, B being, B being the shooting guard, X being the small forward, Y is the power forward, and the L trigger is the center. Uh, since Rudy Gay is on the court, we're going to be using B. If I just press A, he passes to anybody. I mean, I have to press in a certain direction to try to get it to Rudy Gay. But if I just want to pass it to Rudy Gay by himself without worrying about uh, who else might get the ball, I just hold the RB button and then press B. gives it right to him. Okay? Now let's talk about directional icon passing. I can make Rudy Gay move to a certain spot. If I want to make him move towards the top of the key, I hit icon passing. Uh, I bring the icon pass buttons up and then I hold the direction in which I want him to move in according to the camera and then I hit his corresponding button. So if I want him to move to the top of the key, I'll hit up and left in a di in an, at, at a diagonal um, at a diagonal position and he'll move to that middle of the court when I when I try to pass him the ball. For example. Okay? If I want him to move higher, I'll just hold the up button while I'm trying to pass him the ball using icon passing. Go lower. Go back. Okay. Now let's try it uh, in certain positions. See how I moved Damon Stoudemire there also. So let's move um, Rudy Gay further along closer to the uh, corner, closer to the sidelines. Let's move him back towards that uh, light. Let's move him up towards that white marker or the white light. Back to the center of the court. Closer to the court. See how he moved. See how he moved from where he was. He was behind the three-point line just standing there. Sorry about that. He's just standing there behind the three-point line. I use directional icon passing. And he moves up a pretty good ways. Maybe about mm, two, three feet according to the court. He moves up, plants himself, and shoots. This is good for running plays and people coming off screens, catch and shoot style. And we're not worried about shot time in here. We just want to get directional passing down. And what you can do is just go to practice mode, get a player, and practice this. And uh, practice moving them around on different parts of the court. So you can get used to directional icon passing. Okay, guys, to better understand the uh, effectiveness of icon directional passing, what we're going to do is we're going to run a quick play, and I'm going to show you how it can be very effective when running an offense. I just chose this PF pop clear play, and let's just look at the very beginning option. The initial pick, the power forward picks down, and the uh, shooting guard comes up to approximately the elbow area. But what I'll do is, the first time I'll get, give him the ball at the elbow area. The second time, I'll give him the ball somewhere around the arc of the three-point line where it starts to bend. And then the last time, I'll give it to him in the corner, all using directional icon passing. Alright, now that is at the elbow. Running the same play here, I'm going to give it to him at the arc. And remember, we're not worried about makes or misses. This is just to show uh, directional icon passing. Here, in the corner, 
And the last time, we're going to try to kick him right out to the three-point line. Elbow extended. Very close. 